Hi everyone. Uh, I'm just coming on with a video. Hopefully it's quick. I don't have a whole lot of time today. i um, got a lot to do. Um, but I was tagged with the Get to Know Me tag from Nurse Laurel. Thank you, Laurel. Um, okay, so I guess let's start. Uh, number one, what is your YouTube name and what is your name? My YouTube name is Brenda HDP 77 uh, also known as the Wiggly Twisted Crafter 77 and my name is Brenda. Um, the story behind my YouTube name is just my original name. Um, the H is for heart and DP is actually my husband's initials and 77 is the year I was born. Um, number two. So how did you get started with crafting? My mom. She into all different things. She's done tatting, crochet, knitting. Quilting is a big thing that she's always been into. She's still in. She does all kinds of needle crafts. Um, when I was a kid we were always, always into crafts. There was always something new to do. She used to make these really pretty um, and cute loopy flower baskets and the bunny baskets out of loopy. Which is like this... Um, I don't know how to explain it. The best way, I guess, is like a huge pipe cleaner, um, like material, because you could bend it and it was really fluffy. Oh, it's really hard to explain. I'll have to see if I can find some. Um, let's see. Number three, favorite crafting brand. Um, really don't have one. It's kind of whatever catches my eye. If it's something I feel like I want to work with, or if I can get an idea off of it really quick, I'll grab it. Or if I think someone else will really like it, I'll grab it for them. Um, number four, favorite color, burgundy. Burgundy is my top color, I love it. Um, but I do love all the colors. Uh, number five, your, what's your crafting style? This one's funny. The best way I can describe myself, mm, organized chaos. Everything is all over. I really don't see a style. You guys would probably be able to pick it out better than I would. Um... I do like all of them though that I've seen everybody creating. And number six, something you'd like to try? Steampunk. Definitely steampunk. All my nieces and nephews are really into that and I'd like to make some stuff for them. Um, my kids aren't too big on it but they do like it. Let's see, number seven, your favorite YouTube channel. That's a hard one. I really don't have a favorite YouTube channel. I love watching everybody's channels. Everybody's got something else to share, something different, and I love to learn. So I love watching everybody's channels. Um, number eight. If you only had ten dollars in your pocket, what would you spend it on and where? Well, that's an easy one. I definitely put the money out on my kids. Um, any store that has magazines, I would get them each a magazine that'll keep them occupied for quite some time. And I can get things done without having someone bothering me. 24-7, oh, what do you want to do? <laughs> what you doing, Mom? How's this? So, you know, you're lucky when you're a mom if you have bathroom time for yourself. Um, granted, my kids are older now. I still have that issue. Not so much in the bathroom, just what are you going to do, Mom? What are you working on? They haven't grown out of that stage yet. I'd like to know when that happens. <laughs> um, number nine. When you start crafting, what's the one item that helps you put it all together? Oh my gosh, um, that one, I'd say, adhesive puts everything together, but <laughs> for me, I guess, to finish off a project that actually tells me that it's done and it's good is embellishments. The embellishments, I think, make everything pop um, and just gives it that extra little touch that it needs just to say, it's finished, we're good, move on. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Number 10. If you never heard of crafting, what other hobby would you have picked up? Reading. Definitely reading. I read all the time, whether it's the hardcover books or on my Kindle. Um, that's a big thing in the house we love to read. Uh, so, definitely reading. Um, and the last one, 11. What number one item do you recommend newbies to have? I agree with every all the answers I've heard already. I mean, trimmers. Trimmers are definitely a good thing to have, but, I mean, you can buy card bases and stuff like that um, already done for you. So a trimmer, 
while I agree, yes, it's always good to have a good trimmer, you can tear your mats and stuff, and it gives a really nice look. So I'd have to say my idea would probably be maybe a sketchbook or a pocket journal, something small that you could fit in your pocket, your purse, you know, just carry around with you to keep your notes in, your thoughts in, any of your ideas. That's one thing that I don't think I could live without because if I'm out somewhere and I have an awesome idea for a project or something, by the time I get home, I'm so flustered and lost, I can't remember what I thought about. And it's like, oh, that was a really good idea. I know it was, but I can't remember it. Um, so yeah, a sketchbook, I think. Okay, well, thank you for tagging me, Nurse Laurel. Um, I think I'm going to pick... Sharon Kashaz Designs here on YouTube. If you can, hon, I know you have a lot going on. Um, but if you'd like to do it, I'd love to hear more about you. Um, Chevy Nut 100, Cat, if you know, you can do that, that would be wonderful. I'd love to hear more about you. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of maybe someone else that hasn't been. Let's see. Um, I think I'm just going to name the two people. Okay. Well, thanks everyone for putting up with me and listening to me. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Thanks again, Laurel. Love you guys. Bye.